I don't know how common this is, but for me, being on the internet and being engaged in these political discussions and uh, and circles online, I'm exposed to what a lot of people would call radicalising influences. Mixed in among all of the political discussions is quite a lot of alternative viewpoints. And that comes from all kinds of directions. It's not just one thing. But today I want to talk about one of those influences which I've been finding it pretty easy to ignore for quite a long time, but it's it's getting harder to not notice this. It's called the Great Replacement Theory. On Wikipedia it's described as a white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory. And these days I just don't know how to use white nationalist and far-right or alt-right or racist in a way that is really meaningful, but I'm sure you get the idea just from that description. This is something that I've been aware of for, I think, probably a few years, maybe two years now. And like I say, it's constantly cropping up, along with you know, many other... It's just one signal amongst all of the noise of being political on the internet. This is one thing that you hear. And I've been kind of ignoring it for this whole time. I'm not really, I'm not really interested in, in that sort of thing. And it's, to me, it sounded like a conspiracy theory, and I still think that it is. But yesterday, the BBC posted a video on on their website, and it was on the front page, although now it's become sort of more hidden amongst all of the BBC articles. It was a, it's a, a sort of an infographic type video. The video is called, What Would the UK Be Like Without Immigration? Over the last two decades, immigration to the UK has run at rates unprecedented in our history, changing many aspects of our society and our economy. But what would Britain look like without immigration? And it's just three and a half minutes long, and it's just the description of the uh, some statistics of what the UK is like now compared to uh, the 1980s before before mass immigration started. And at one point in the video, it says that one in seven people in the UK was born abroad, and one in three babies born in the UK is born to uh, parents who are one or, or both of them are immigrants who were not born in the UK. Without immigration, the UK's population would have been shrinking for quite some time. And when populations shrink, places hollow out. And perhaps more noticeable than fewer people would be that we'd be on average much older. More than a third of babies born in the UK have at least one parent from abroad. And that reminded me of this great replacement theory that I've been hearing about on um, online. And with the complicity or cooperation of replacist elites, the white French population, as well as the white European population at large, is being progressively replaced with non-European peoples, specifically Arab, Berber, Sub-Saharan Muslim populations from Africa and the Middle East. So this is the theory that the, the white, what you could call native population of uh, France in particular, but also uh, Europe, white Europe, is being replaced by non-white immigrants. And it's called a white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory, despite the fact that it seems that every part of what is said there is in some ways correct. Whatever the intention is behind it, it I can't find anything that denies the fact that the population of the UK is becoming more and more non-native, non-white European. In this video on the BBC, it says that this immigration is needed because the birth rate of the UK, of the native um, UK British, is falling, and the number of uh, and, and the average age of the population is increasing. So we have a lot of old people and not enough young people to do to be in the working population in order to support the economy. So we need to bring in young people to supplement the uh, the decreasing birth rate, so we have a lot of young people in the future. And the video doesn't explicitly say that this has been done intentionally, but it's kind of implied that at least this is a happy accident. And when I was looking for that Great Replacement article on 
um, on the white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory, I found this other article on Wikipedia called Replacement Migration, which is a very similar name, but it's a little bit different. In this article, it says, In demography, replacement migration is the theory of migration needed for a region to achieve a particular objective, demographic, economic, or social. Generally, studies using this concept have an objective to avoid the decline of the population and the decline of the working age population. That seems to pretty well sum up what is happening in the UK, but as soon as you introduce the idea of race into it, it becomes a it becomes a white nationalist far-right conspiracy theory. I just wanted to make this video because I honestly don't know what to believe. The mainstream belief system would have me believe that the Great Replacement is a uh, a, a white supremacist uh, racist theory and yet every part of that theory is seems to be backed up by the mainstream belief system the, the BBC are publishing articles about how about how the young population of this country is decreasing and we need to import more young people who just happen to be of a different race I know it's rather a big leap of logic to assume that this is being done with the intention of wiping out white people specifically, but I don't think I can deny that that is what is happening. The proportion of white British people in the country is decreasing as a percentage of the entire population. And although I don't think that is the intention of the people who are in charge of making these decisions about immigration, it is certainly the end result of what they have done, and although I would never call those people the replacist elites, as the Wikipedia article calls them, they are certainly the people who are in charge. So you could call them elites in that sense. I just, I don't understand what, what is the mainstream belief here? What is, I, I feel like I'm being forced to believe two things that are opposite. I'm being asked to believe them both at once. And if you've watched this channel, you may know that I I do like to see a lot of different point of views at once and I often don't I often find it difficult to um believe wholly in one narrative. I, I I find it very easy to keep one foot in in either side of a discussion. But I don't understand what the what the mainstream belief it even is on this topic. Are we are we saying that am I supposed to believe that the UK, the UK's native white population is not being replaced by largely non-white immigrants, or am I supposed to believe that it is and it's fine? It seems that the mainstream belief system is simultaneously telling me that it's not happening and that if it is happening, then it's a good thing. And I don't think that it necessarily is a bad thing. I think it could be a good thing or just a neutral thing. It might be neither good nor bad. I live in a very white area, honestly, but all of the immigrants that I have met have been, you know, fine. I have no problem with them sharing my community, my workplace, my, um, you know, my, my children's school. I don't mind competing with immigrants for jobs, as I have done. I don't want to be part of any hateful ideologies, and I don't have any hate or resentment for immigrants, and yet I can't help the feeling that I've just been asked to believe two contradictory things at once and it's just uh, as Douglas Murray said in the in the madness of crowds it's, it's just maddening to be to be expected to believe what you cannot believe or, or expected to pretend to believe something you can't believe I don't want to be radicalized by racists on the internet and uh, and yet I'm, I'm not being given any tools to to contradict this ideology. We're just told to ignore it and don't think about it. Don't don't critically examine these ideas. Just completely ignore it or you're a racist. Honestly, I don't even know if I'll post this video and if I do post it, I might end up making it uh, unlisted or maybe just delete it. But I thought I'd, I just wanted to make it just for my own, for my own peace of mind, just to try and sort this stuff out by putting it into words, as I usually do in my videos, but I, I don't know if this is the sort of thing that's really suitable for my channel. 
So if for some reason you really like this video, then maybe you should save the URL just in case I make it unlisted.